Virtually every time I make a video talking about Surface Duo and I mention that the camera isn't very good, or I might even go as far as to say that it kind of sucks, I get people in the comments saying, well, look, I think it's a pretty good camera. I only post on Facebook and Instagram, and I think it looks just fine. And that comment always kind of gets me thinking because there's so many different ways to look at things. So there's people that just take pictures, post them on Instagram, post them on Facebook. We know these people. I have people on my, on my friends list on Instagram that post pictures that I think are terrible. The focus is blown, they're grainy, and I'm thinking to myself, what phone are you using at this point? They look worse than what the Duo uses. The techier people, some of which might be interested in Surface Duo, some of which might be reviewers of devices, see things in a very different light. I would never post some of the pictures that I see because they look terrible. So that got me thinking about not only that, about how there's a spectrum of what people think is acceptable in a photo to post on social media, which let's be honest, that's the only thing you do with your photos. But also this idea I've had kind of rolling around that you can take good pictures on bad hardware or, or subpar hardware. It's more about the art in the photo than anything else. And perhaps you can get some good shots out of Surface Duo. In fact, I posted a shot on Twitter just the other day where I posted and said, hey, I think this is a really good photo taken on a Surface Duo. And if you look at this photo, there's a lot to like here. I mean, it's in nice crisp focus. The detail is good. The shadows look okay. She's not totally blown out on this side. It's a little blown out, but not too bad. It's not too, too totally crushed and blown out. I think that's a pretty good picture. So I decided to do something. I decided to go through my camera, my, my photos app, and pick out the best pictures I have taken with my Surface Duo since September 10th and show them to you. I am not a professional photographer, although I do own some professional grade photography equipment. I am an amateur, I am a hobbyist. I like taking good pictures. And that's part of why the duo frustrates me so much and it might not frustrate other people. So what I thought I would do here is, let's look at the best pictures I've been able to take, someone who thinks of myself as being a relatively okay photographer at times, and I'll let you guys say what you think about these photos. Okay, so here's a photo I took of this big oak tree in my backyard, which seems to always be rather photogenic to me, and I take pictures of it all the time. This is, of course, all these are going to be on the Surface Duo. If you zoom in here, I mean, look, the detail is okay. It's nothing too incredible. You get a little bit of, you know, being blown out here in, in the left side where the clouds are, but overall, I think it's a pretty passable photo. Here is that same oak tree as I was noticing that this vine that grows up, it was changing its colors, the color of its leaves at a much different pace, and I just thought that looked really interesting, having the brown leaves and then the green leaves of that vine. And you know, same thing there, when you zoom in and Google Photos clears it up, the detail isn't god awful, and the dynamic range is not too terrible either. Here is a night shot of the sunset. The sun's slowly setting here in Knoxville, Tennessee with some very pink and orange clouds. Doesn't do great in low light. You get quite a bit of grain in more low light situations on Duo, but I think overall the color reproduction was okay. And look, this is totally passable to be posted on social media. Here is the same oak tree. This is after this, this snowstorm that kind of came through here a few weeks back, and I think this is quite a good picture. The blue of the sky looks very natural. The details look quite good. I think that's a pretty solid photo. This guy looks really nice. Lots of fine details in this photo as well, and I think that this turned out really good. The clouds, the sky looks really nice. I've always been a fan of macro photography, getting up really close to the subject just to see a different angle of the world, and I think it actually excels at this sort of thing in a lot of instances. Just a close-up of some snow. You actually get the sense of depth of field here occurring, which you don't normally get on that 11 megapixel sensor, but if you get up close to something like that, you will get it. A little bit more of the snow here. I just thought that this, the contrast going on here just made for a nice few photos. This one I particularly like because you get the red here of the barn. Now I want to point out in the darker areas, I am getting 
some grain if this will clear up some grain there but i thought that the red of the barn in my backyard and then this larger tree look, looking like a mountain a mountain kind of landscape i thought it just all kind of came together for a nicely composed shot here's one of a really overcast cloudy day another tree on a walk i was taking details are you know again they're they're okay nothing spectacular but again could this be posted on social media Absolutely. Here's a photo taken of my chameleon ducky. She was looking quite vibrant on this particular morning. She often moves around if you get too close to her, so it's hard to get a picture in focus, but I did manage to get one that's in pretty good focus here. You get good details of her little mitten-handed claws there, her tail wrapping up around her a little vine. I think that's a pretty good picture. The color reproduction was very accurate. We had some sleet the other day, and uh, again, I like to get up close to things and get that depth of field kind of look going on. I just thought this was a cool looking little photo, and the details are quite nice in this little bit of, of frozen sleet that was coming down. So those are photos that I took through, you know, through the, the months or so of having Surface Duo. Well, yesterday I decided to try and do something a little bit different. I got to thinking, what could I do to take even more interesting photos with Surface Duo? And I remembered that I had this guy sitting in a drawer. What this is, is it is a lens that clamps onto a phone. So you can pop this little cover off here and you have a wide angle lens. Now on Surface Duo, what you're going to have to do is you would have to fold the thing over and then you would slide this thing over the front facing camera or rear facing camera on Surface Duo and now you have a wide angle lens on your Surface Duo. A cool thing about this one is that you can actually take this lens off and now it is a macro lens for your Surface Duo. So you kind of get to pick and choose. How well does it work on Duo? That's, you know, a little a little hinky. I'll let you see what the end result look like. The act of actually using it was not super great because the device is just really thin and, and where the camera is, it wants to kind of slide around. Maybe there's a better option out there. But I want to show you a couple of the shots that I did get using that add-on lens on my Surface Duo. So this is the wide angle lens. And you know, look, you, you actually start to lose a little bit of quality there. And I cleaned the lens off several times and it still just kind of had this cloudy look to it. You do get some distortion in the corners down here and some graininess, but you can definitely fit a lot more in the shot with that wide angle lens on. Then I started playing around with the macro lens, taking some pictures of the plants around the house, getting up really nice and close. This one picked up a lot of grain too. It's a little bit darker in that room, so that didn't look too great. This one here I thought looked really cool though. This is another plant in the house. And that depth of field I thought looked really, really nice. A little bit brighter there. When you get more light there being fed into the Surface Duo's lens, you get a lot better results. Here's a little C3PO. Uh, that I've got, and again, you know, looks okay. You could post this on Instagram, but it is a little grainy, a little bit dark for my liking. I thought this one actually looked quite cool as well. I'm not exactly sure what this is. This is something that my wife had in her sunroom, some sort of bundle of, I don't know, sage or something in there. I just thought it looked cool to get up really nice and close on. Again, there is some graininess in the in the periphery here. Um, using these add-on lenses, it seems like it's affecting how much light is getting in, and that, of course, makes it look grainier. And then here's uh, another one of our pets. This is a leopard gecko named Leo, who I used the macro lens to get up really nice and close to. And, you know, you get some good details here. You get a good look at that cat eye that it has, the bumps on its face. It's a little bit blown out down here around his chin, but it's a shot that you would, you would have had a hard time getting otherwise. So look, at the end of the day, the Surface Duo is not competing with the S21 Ultra or something like that. And if you compare them in photography prowess, it's going to get demolished. However, if you take the time to do a couple of things, maybe install the Gcam Go port, maybe get used to taking three or four photos instead of just the one snap and assuming that you got the shot because you maybe didn't get that focus exactly how you thought you did. If you get used to doing things like that, I think that you can actually start to get photos that you'll be pleasantly surprised by. In particular, if you've got enough light in your shot to really uh, make it take the best pictures that it can. Lighting is super, super, super important with Surface Duo with such a low-end camera module. So I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Are you able to take photos that you think are good enough? I mean, look, I'm not talking about 
Some of the problems that Duo has with the camera flipping around screen to screen, that is still a problem. It's still frustrating. It's still irritating. But assuming you get that handled and straightened out, just taking a photo with the Surface Duo, have you been able to get sufficient photos for social media and so forth? I feel like largely I have. I've posted some videos online that I've shot on my Duo, some photos obviously shot on Duo, and they've done just fine. No one's commenting saying, well, that photo looks like trash. Takes a little bit more work but you can do it. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Let me know if you would consider using a lens like this. Maybe I'll put an affiliate link in the description. It's kind of cool to play around with, especially when you're just kind of out in nature to slap a silly macro lens on there or wide angle lens and, and take some, some interesting photos with your Surface Duo. Let me know if you've tried something like this on your Duo and what your experience has been. I'd love to know. Stay tuned until next time. And until then, stay nerdy, my friends.